Right now, we're in the golden era, Jacob, of the people launching projects that really don't give a fuck about their audience at all. It's a fast money grab. I'm gonna draw something, a picture of me or fucking something that represents me. I'm gonna mint a 10,000 of them. And because right now, and they're gonna make some real money. I mean, we've seen some athletes and celebrities totally. make real money. What I know is gonna happen on the other side is the people that are holding the bag of that collectible have paid overpaid so much, no different than pets.com or etoys.com as a stock. That doesn't mean NFTs are not gonna be the game changing thing of, of this generation. It just means that project is not. And what you're seeing is short term transactional behavior right now of people land grabbing for quick bags. But what they're actually gonna do is hurt their brand because there's gonna be some fans on the other side that are sad that they paid $3,000 for ownership of an NFT. But now the market says it's $17, AKA Beanie Babies, right? So, totally. so I'm worried about that. For, for everybody in this cycle that, the person that's buying it and gets held with the bag, but I'm actually worried about it equally for, you know, they deserve it because they weren't thoughtful, but it doesn't mean I don't have compassion to somebody who doesn't really, there's some people, because I've talked to a bunch of celebrities, IP, they don't even realize they're doing bad things for their audience. Mm -hmm. they're, they, they're delusional. They don't understand supply and demand and we're, the moment we're in. So they probably, in our, a lot of them, I could tell I've had the combos. They actually think they're going to, do well, like, oh, someone's gonna pay $88,000 for this and one day it's gonna be worth 2 million. I'm like, first of all, your ego is insane. Second of all, you're very <laughs> much misunderstanding what's about to happen, which is the tokenization of everything. Do you know how much supply that is? It's no yeah. different than influencers, Jacob, right? Influencer marketing, I was right in 2009 when I wrote Crush It. And you have the Logan Pauls and the Charlie D'Amelio's, but there are tens of thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands, and millions of people making 50 to $200,000 a year being an influencer instead of an accountant or a gardener and loving life. That's gonna happen with NFT. That's gonna happen with totally. artists. That's gonna happen in a lot of places. So I don't know, I think there's a lot of thoughtfulness that needs to come to the market.